Hi again, and uh, welcome to our third installment of the Ballstat Ball Score software package. Uh, today we're going to set up a game and actually do a little gameplay. Um, I may try to do these in one video. I may try to do it in two. We'll see how it works out here. Um, before we get started, I do want to mention uh, this is on uh, Windows version 10, um, and, and it has created a small glitch in the game setup. Um, and I'll show you how to, you know, correct that glitch, but not correct it, but work around it, I guess I should say. Um, so we'll we'll show that, and uh, we'll just go from there. If you're using uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8, I, I did not detect this glitch before. I, I put in a Windows 10, so you probably won't have to worry about it, but if you are using Windows 10, I'll show you how to work around it. Uh, here's our opening screen uh, whenever we open ball score and I'm going to set up uh, a game from April 6th of 1977 between San Diego and Cincinnati it was the season opener for both teams so without further ado here we go we'll click on game setup and this pops up discard cur current scorebook I always click yes to this just in case there was something there that shouldn't be there uh, we're going to set a date for the game. This I said was 1977. Uh, I should have probably had this set up for that, but I didn't. So now you're going to have to sit here and watch me set that up April 6th. There we go. Uh, and we click OK. And that'll bring up the lineup manager, roster and lineup manager, the RLM, as it's frequently called in ball score. Um, You'll see here, there's no, here's a place for our lineup. There is no lineup. Uh, there's no team roster. Here's where the team roster would be. Um, there's some positions, place player and lineup, subs and hidden pitchers. We'll get to that later. Uh, change displayed position, remove player from lineup. Various buttons and things we can do there. Today we're going to be working on loading a roster and uh, we're going to click on these tabletop functions and I'm going to show you how to bring in lineup files from ATM manager uh, that will work and that will then be associated or saved with that roster. So uh, the visiting team, this is for the visiting team as we see up here. So I'm going to click on load roster and that will bring up a screen. These are all the rosters that I've saved from RetroSheet. Um, ball score reads the RetroSheet roster files so that's why I use RetroSheet. Uh, there is a document on the Ballstat website showing how to get the rosters and the lineup files from ATM Manager uh, for your for your replays. So if you go out to Ballstat, you should be able to find that. You might have to dig around a little bit for it. It's actually a document that I wrote up uh, probably four or five years ago. So uh, we're looking for San Diego, and here's San Diego, 1977. So let's go ahead and pull that up. And you see we've pulled now in San Diego Padres roster. Here is their roster for the 77 season. Uh, this would include all players that played for them. So some of them may not be available um, at particular parts in the season. Uh, like I know Doug Rader gets traded later in the year. Uh, Dave Kingman doesn't come over until later in the year. But for right now he is on the roster. So make sure you're selecting your players correctly. Whenever you're doing your replay, uh, and now we're going to click on tabletop functions, and we have uh, open rosters. There, you can create a roster from the lineup files um, uh, that come over from ATM Manager. The problem with doing that, if you create the lineup from there, it only pulls in the players that actually we're in the starting lineup or we're starting pitchers so you're going to be missing anybody that was you know strictly a pinch runner or utility type that never actually started a game or relief pitchers so you could add them later but it gets to be a little more complicated doing it that way uh, I like to just pull in the full rosters from from um, retro sheet and, and use those uh, Trex rosters this is actually a very little known uh, function of ball score where you can pull in the rosters 
from a uh, baseball for Windows disc, and it also works with Skeetersoft discs, um, where it will pull in the rosters from the disc, and it, you can actually play a game using the cards from that disc. So um, I may get to a video on that one. That's more of an advanced function, but uh, we may get around to that, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, enhanced CSV files. Um, these are comma delimited files. Um, you could pull in a roster from, say, or copy a roster and create a uh, CSV file from um, Baseball Reference and, and pull it in that way. Um, that gets to be a little tricky because you need to have your commas all in the right place in a certain format that you would have to do. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to import <coughs> excuse me, a lineup file and we're going to save it into the current roster. So I'll click on that and that'll bring up <coughs> the uh, Antran files which are used in the ATM manager program and I've saved these out there already so we can just double click on that and we're looking for San Diego and we see them I don't know why it's not in alphabetical order doesn't seem to be in any particular order or any rhyme or reason to that order so I'm not sure what's going on with that but <laughs> you just might have to do a little searching for the team you're looking for uh, and let me emphasize you only need to you need to do this for each team but you only need to do it once. You don't have to do this every game. This is a one-time setup, and once you've done it, it's done. So don't get discouraged that, oh my gosh, i got to set all this up all the time. No, you don't have to do that. It's just a one-time setup. So we can click OK, and it seems to have done something, but you're really not sure that it did anything. Trust me, it did something, and we'll get to that here. We'll click OK here and now we run into the glitch of Windows 10 um, you'll see it doesn't matter like if I try to load a lineup now it's not gonna let me do anything so um, don't know what this glitch is all about but we can just X out of here come up to the lineup and pull up the lineup manager again and now when we go to load our lineup we see all of these lineups each each day's lineup for the San Diego Padres and it's the actual lineups that were used in the starting pitchers um, this is a great function for replayers because it just makes this lineup input so much easier and now we click OK and we run into the Windows 10 glitch again trust me this is a lot easier if you don't have Windows 10 um, and now we see our lineup here we want to save the roster now because we want to make sure all those lineups are included um, next time we play San Diego all those lineups will still be there so we just load ro load roster load lineup everything works out great um, with that we're done with this uh, and we can flip over to the other team I don't think I need to set up anything else up here no, we should be good. So I'll flip. Now this select the set defense option. Um, most likely at this point you're going to click this green button. Um, there are instances uh, if you're doing a little league game or something and you don't have all the lineups. Uh, you're just kind of entering as you go. You would maybe do the yellow. Um, the red would be used if this screen were to pop up you would quit a game or, or I'm sorry saved a game came back to it later and this screen popped up you would hit red because you would have already hit the green previously just hit green in this case and now we flipped over to the home team lineup manager and they were playing Cincinnati so we're gonna load Cincinnati 77 okay after you have hit the home team's roster and loaded the home team's roster, it's going to save the scorebook. Um, there are three things it's looking for when it saves the scorebook. The date of the game, which you supplied at the very beginning, uh, the name of the visiting team, the name of the home team. Then there are four options which you can select. Usually it's going to be this first option which is already checked by default and that's 
this is the only game between these two teams and that you know it's going to save it with this date visiting team home team um, format if it's the first game of a double header being played on that date then you would click this button if it's the second game of the double header you would click this button all these things do is it adds an A after the date for the first game of the double header and adds a B if it's the second game of the double header so um, if you want to name it something completely different you can do that but as we note here it's not recommended um, you can save it as to whatever you want to save it as but this format works pretty well and I've, I've used it for all the years I've used this software so uh, with that we can click save and that scorebook has now been saved and our Windows 10 glitch appears again so we have to go on here this bugs the crap out of me because it's otherwise a very smooth process and again we uh, have to go to tabletop functions buff lineups in, into current roster click our Antran and look for Cincinnati click OK and that's done so we go back here and now our Windows 10 glitch appears again god that's annoying go back to lineup manager load lineup and there's our first date a um, couple buttons here um, delete selected lineup after you've played this game and the next time you pull up Cincinnati uh, you may want to just get rid of this lineup from 4 or 6 since you've already played that game um, or you can keep it and just scroll down to whatever date you're playing um, however you want to do that so uh, you can also change the lineup description I never I don't think I've ever done that before um, but there is an option to do it so we'll select 4 or 6 click OK and we see our Windows 10 glitches appeared whenever you try to click a button and it won't let you that's where that Windows 10 glitch is appearing and there's our lineup and remember to save the roster so that our lineups are there next time if you don't save the roster I believe those lineups will not be associated with the roster so make sure you do the save also whenever you're saving a roster make sure you have this team name the way you want it um, a lot of times when we when you first pull them in from um, from retro sheet it will have uh, say like 1977 Cincinnati Reds dot ROS well you probably don't really need all that information so you can uh, edit that the way you want it before you save the roster the first time so um, just make sure you do that. Uh, if some other things on this RL, RLM, I'll mention, you can save your lineups. Uh, that's if you're entering lineups on your own and then you want to maybe use it for the next game, you can save it. Uh, you can set the game data, uh, the time of the game, where it's at, uh, things like that. You can also create a roster from here. You can add players to a roster from here. Um, if if for instance a player was missing and the way we're doing it that's not going to be the case but you can add players um, you can edit a selected player usually this is going to be um, the ratings for that player if you wanted to do that you could do that here um, delete the selected player if that player for whatever reason is no longer on your roster you could you could delete them uh, there's a few other buttons here I usually don't mess with these you can import a, a lineup or a, a roster from Ballstat. Again, I don't recommend that. Um, it can be done, but I, I don't really see a reason to do it. It can all be handled directly in the exports from Ball Score into Ballstat. So I don't see any reason to go the other way. Um, so with that, we have our lineup for Cincinnati. We click OK. It'll bring up our defense. Set the defense. We're at the green again. Now, um, you'll notice we would we would be ready for play. However, it's on Cincinnati, the home team's um, lineup. So we will click on this button right here, which flips scorebook to other team. And also remember, we set our lineup to save, or our game scorebook to save every time we flip a scorebook. So this will also save the scorebook. Um, 
so there it is. The game is, is set, ready to go. We got our lineups. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the gameplay in a, in a second additional video. Uh, I think this one's long enough. I want to try to keep these short if I can. So until next time, we will um, see you.